Hi guys, how are you today? I am very happy that you are watching this video again. When you are watching this video again, that tells me that you are interested in chess. As I said, this is, this is an intellectual game, so we are at the beginning. Today, I am going to explain to you each coin, where it is to be placed and how it is uh, moving forward and how it captures other pieces uh, and other basics. Advanced uh, information will be passed on in next videos. So please do watch it and learn it. These are the basic but then how you play depends upon how you think about it. This involves a lot of thinking, planning and strategies as well. Hope you will like it. Okay guys, let's recap. There are 64 columns in a chessboard. Columns are marked with alphabets. Rows are marked with numbers. When you take the reference of a column, it is marked or identified by rows and columns like A1, E5, E4, etc. Each side has got 16 coins. 16 of black and 16 of white. When you are placing a chessboard in front of you, dark side column should be on the leftmost corner of your, of your board in front of you. Now I am going to introduce you to the first coin which is a rook. Rook actually travels. Rook is placed in A1 and H1 for white, A8 and H8 for black. It moves horizontally and vertically any number of coins until it is blocked. If it is blocked by opponent coin, you can capture it. If it is blocked by your own coin, you cannot jump over it. You can place your coin next to it. If it is blocked, you can move to another free column and opponent coin is forced to move it, otherwise you will capture it. As I said, it cannot jump over any coin. You can move back, sideways, forward, etc. That is Rook. Next coin we are going to meet is a Knight. Knight is placed in B1 and G1 for white and B8 and G8 for black. Knight moves in an L shape always. It moves two columns in front and one to the left or to the right. It can move in any direction in an L shape. It is the only coin which can jump over other coins. So you cannot block an attack from a knight. It always captures in the column which it lands. That means in the L shape, the last column. Next coin I'm going to introduce to you is a bishop. Bishop, bishop always stays at C1 and f1 for white c8 f8 for black it moves diagonally any number of coins it can move uh, back forth etc it captures a coin which opponent coin which is on its way next coin i'm going to introduce to you is the queen it is the strongest coin in a chessboard it is actually a, equal to a rook plus a bishop. It occupies d1 and d8 for black. It can move vertically, horizontally and diagonally any number of columns until it is blocked. It can capture any coin of your opponent on its way. It also doesn't jump over any coin. It moves only through the vacant columns. Next is the most important coin on a chessboard. This is the king. The king can move only one column at a time all around. Similar to queen, it can move only one column vertically or diagonally around it. This is the most important coin. If you lose the king, you lose the game. So always try to protect your king uh, to save your game. 
all other coins are actually trying to protect our king and trying to attack opponent's king. That is a chess game. Now, we move to the next coin, which is the last one, pawns. Each side, black and white, has got eight pawns each. Pawns are placed, white pawns are placed on the second file and black pawns are placed on the seventh file. Different from other coin, pawn can only move one column at a time except for the first time. First time it can move two columns if you wish so. Also, it's different in moves. It moves forward only one column at a time except for the first time, but it cannot capture any coin in front of it. It always capture diagonal. It can capture any coin which is diagonally one column in front of it and it occupies uh, uh, the space of that coin as every other piece on a chessboard. So that is holds. It moves only forward, captures diagonally. Okay, now I hope you understood what I was explaining today. I was explaining the moves of each and every piece. Now you know how the pieces move. They start to play, the advanced stages of game, how the game should be played, which are the beneficial positions for each coin, will be explained in the next video. Please do watch it and thank you.